So today I've got my hands on the brand new Patrick Star setting spray. This is the brand new product from One Size Beauty. This is the luminizing one. This is called Preserve the Serve. This is supposed to make you look luminous for 12 hours, give you an amazing wear for your makeup. And this one is the waterproof one called On Till Dawn. And this is supposed to give you 16 hours of waterproof, amazing matte blurred finish. Okay, so I picked up both sizes because he did make a mini and a large one. So the large one is 118 mils, which is a good size. Like this is a really massive size. So if I take something that I really love right here, which is the Hourglass Veil, like you can see like, this is a really good size product. Then I'm gonna take this one, which is a smaller version. This is the waterproof one that I picked up and this is actually 46 mils. Oh, I like that. This one is a very shimmery pink and this one is more of a plasticky pink. This one's metal, this one's plastic. I kind of love the pink vibe on this. It's like very on trend for my eyeshadow, loving that. All right, I'm gonna spray one, the luminous one, on my left side of my face, luminous left. I think that'll be easy for us to remember. And I'm gonna spray the mattifying one on the right side of my face. To do this test for you guys, I'm gonna shield one side of my face just using this paper fan. I'm gonna hold that up to one side of my face. I'm gonna start by using the On Till Dawn. And I'm gonna go in with the right side of my face. And this is the mattifying waterproof version. Okay, that is a heavy mist aerosol Whew. all right this smells exactly like identical to his makeup removing spray if you guys know that spray like the cleansing wipes which are so amazing this smells identical which i don't mind i think it's a beautiful luxurious scent so that is amazing this goes on it's an aerosol it's a lot of product that it hits you it is a lot of product so maybe hold it a little bit further away and go in with smaller mists. I think that gives me a better effect. Let's move on to the next side. I'm going to again shield my face and I'm just gonna go in again. This one has the pump. Just gonna close my eyes. First impressions, the mist is very luxurious and it doesn't quite smell like the other one. This has a very wet feel to it. Obviously it's giving me that luminous, you know, sheen. It's a completely different formula. Again, it has the pump. It's just, what does it smell like? It smells like, like rose water, but not quite even that, more like a cucumber water. It's a, it's a beautiful scent. It's just not overpowering, I guess. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. And it feels fresh, like it feels fresh on my face. It's not tightening. It's giving me those good positive results. Okay. Now let me look in the camera. I think this one, obviously it's still a little bit wet. Let's just dry that just for a second. But this is definitely giving me that more matte look and this one is giving me more of a sheen already. So I'm excited to see how this wears. We're gonna go out. I'm gonna take you guys shopping with me. We're gonna do a whole, you know, just a whole, you know, day where you guys are just gonna hang out with me. <laughs> We're gonna do this a little bit different, a little bit more of a vlog style video and I'll check in with you guys throughout the day. All right, so I've had this on for about three hours now and it's not breaking apart. I really like the luminous side. It is giving me that luminous look and the matte side. It's actually looking kind of luminous. It's matte, but it's luminous, so I kind of like it. It's not doing anything weird to my makeup. Obviously, I've had a mask on and around my bridge of my nose. Everywhere is looking pretty, pretty good. I'm kind of impressed. We are here at the Korean beauty store. Let's go in and see what they've got. Okay, so this one's waterproof. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of fun. I like the packaging. <laughs> and also this one. And that one's not waterproof. Uh, it's not as waterproof. Not as waterproof. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's try those. Cool. That's cool. Should I get that one too? Because I thought we could do a beauty battle with this. Okay, so that was so much fun. I picked up a whole bunch of products, so I thought I would show you what I got. So I got this one right here. So this one is a mascara, and I'm super excited to try this. And I also picked up this right here. So this is a liner, 
and she said it was like a gel eyeshadow as well so i really am super excited to try this and i think the color is so cute for fall so definitely stay tuned for that video and then she gave me this which is a moisturizing mask so i'm super excited i can't wait to film this with you guys so definitely stay tuned for that so far this is looking really good it's not moving with the mask because i've taken the mask off a couple of times so i'm super impressed with the setting spray from one size beauty all right guys next stop oh my lord is that the lineup for the apple store That's insanity. That's the lineup for the new iPhone. I honestly don't think I'm getting that today. All right, so I'm just gonna go into Mac and see if I can get someone's opinion on this new Patrick Star setting spray. Ooh, $10 off all foundations. Hi. I'm good. Welcome to the store. Thank you. And I love your eye makeup. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, that's why I came in. I'm doing a wear test right now, yeah. and I've got the uh, Patrick Star One Size Setting Spray on my face. This side has the luminous one, and this side has the matte one on. So, can you tell me which one that you like better? Side. The luminous side. Yeah. Sweetie, can I get your advice? Yeah. Okay, so I'm doing a wear test right now. So I've got the Patrick Star One Size setting spray on. So this side's the Illuminous side and this side is the matte side. Which side do you like better? I mean, technically it's a matter of preference. I like this, but I will say that the first thing I came to my head when you came in was, wow, she's super matte. So matte. both sides look matte to no, you? This side, to me, is more luminous. Yeah. yeah, definitely more natural, yeah. more luminous. This on side, you're like, you're like porcelain Oh, like, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that. I think I'm liking the luminous as well, but like, I just wanted a, yeah. wanted you know, a third opinion, second yeah. opinion. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. ladies. No Have a great day. There you have it. Both makeup artists at Mac both really loved the luminous side. And look at this. This is amazing. She did tell me that she liked the matte side quite a bit. That it gave a doll-like finish. I totally agree. This is not breaking apart. This has been on for hours. I've been shopping, sweating, walking around. Oh my gosh, the lineup for that iPhone, insanity. We're not getting that today. If you guys got one, let me know in the comments down below if you love it because honestly, honey, I'm going to be waiting a week or two until I even approach that Apple store. All right, guys, let's keep shopping. Okay, quick update. It's been on for about six hours and it's not breaking apart. It looks pretty good. I have a little bit here in my smile lines, but I mean, that's just normal. It looks amazing. Like I look like I have a filter on my face. I do not, but this just is giving me really good like life. And it's not sticky, it's not tacky. It's just very dry. It doesn't even feel like I have makeup on. Like it has absorbed. This, that feeling, that makeup feeling, and it's just so lightweight and beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go in. I wanna pick up something at Sephora, and then I'll check in with you guys. Okay, so I've had this on all day. The sun is setting. I'm heading back to the studio. To, but I thought I would just do a final outdoor wear test for you guys, I'm trying to get good light. This is looking so amazing. It is just a little bit right here on my smile lines where it's kind of bothering me. But again, I could have used a little bit more primer right there, I guess. But this looks so blurring, so amazing. Again, this is the Illuminous side. This is the matte side. This is just like unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna get some Italian food and I'll meet you guys back in the studio. All right guys, I am back in the studio. It has been like eight and a half, almost nine hours, and this is looking pretty damn flawless. Minus, you know, around my mouth where, you know, obviously I was just eating and wiping with a napkin. So that part maybe isn't, you know, really great right there. The rest of my face looks pretty damn flawless. I do not have mask face. It is not, you know, pilling or, you know, there's no smudges on my nose from wearing my mask, removing it on and off all day and like I've got nothing here. This is looking great. In the daylight outside, I thought it was really breaking apart right here on my smile lines, but now in the studio lighting, it's really not. I'm actually super impressed. 
I thought, you know, it was because of the shadow from the daylight, but really, like, I am impressed. One more test. We are going to try and remove the mattifying waterproof until dawn side. I've got a wet face cloth right here. This just has water on it. I'm just going to just dab my face. Maybe even rub a little bit. Okay, that makeup's on there. I'm getting just a little bit of product on the washcloth. Again, there's just water, lukewarm water. Okay, it's like barely picking up any product on the washcloth. I still see a good amount of product on my face. That is what it claims, waterproof. All right guys, I am loving this. Time to score this product. Starting with blurring. All right, so I'm gonna talk about both sides. So the aluminous side and the matte side. Both sides, I'm gonna have to give a 10 out of 10. This is phenomenal. Like both products are just gorgeous. Up next, texture. The preserve, the serve. Honestly, I feel like it's not as smooth, if you will compared to the mattifying side. Even when I went into MAC and I asked the two makeup artists on staff there to give me their opinion, both of them said they loved this side, but they thought this side looked so doll-like. And like, honestly, it's been what, almost nine hours now since I've been filming and this side, the matte side, just looks so much cleaner, if you will. So I'm gonna give this side a nine out of 10 and this side a 10 out of 10. Moving on to endurance. Let's talk wearing the mask. This was on and off, on and off, in the mall, out of the mall, in the car, you know, past the place, restaurant, whole thing, all day, like almost nine hours of wear. This looks frigging phenomenal. 10 out of 10, hands down, both of them. Just amazing, love this. And finally, value. Both the full size versions of the spray are $40 Canadian, which is decent compared to other ones like my favorite, Veil by Hourglass. This one, problem I have with it is that this one right here, which is the All Nighter by Urban Decay, is also 118 milliliters. So I'm gonna hold them up for you guys. Do you see how one is bigger and one is smaller? Okay. I've actually opened this guy up and I've looked inside. There's actually only this much product inside, and I did you know, spray maybe five or six times on my face. So there could have been just a little bit more, but there is this just that much product, which is identical to the same amount that you would have in this Urban Decay. So I feel like with this one in particular, it is a bit of a waste for plastic. You know, I'm just trying to be a little bit green. Is it amazing? Yes. Is the spray amazing? Yes. Is the product amazing? Yes, 100%. But I do unfortunately have to give this one an 8 out of 10 and I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10 for value. Bringing us to a final score of 37 out of 40 for this one and 40 out of 40 for this one. Now, should you buy it, wishlist it, or avoid it? Definitely, hands down, run out and get this. This is amazing. Definitely pick this one up. I love both of them equally. They're both super amazing. Honestly, like this blur, and I've actually taken off half my makeup here with the wet face cloth. This is still phenomenal. <laughs> and this one's just amazing. Love this. If you guys love videos just like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, until next time, live, love, and the floss. Bye, guys.